please. Hello. Hi, Happy New Year. Honey. Happy New Year to you. That's so great to hear your voice again. Well, uh, I'm back and I'm raring to go. What's on your mind? That's good. Well, I just caught a little bit of the show and uh, you were talking about cell phones in the class or in school. Well, we, we started out talking about this Xbox Live and now we have switched. Somebody sent me this uh they call this now cyber baiting there's no reason to have a cell phone in the classroom or do you disagree well you know what i am not a hundred percent behind a cell phone uh especially with all the kids having them but it is a reality the fact of life now but i do believe i have to tell you after that uh columbine thing uh, years ago I just felt like, I mean, yes, I can call the school, but a thousand people will be calling the secretary, and she won't be in office anyway. I want a direct line to my daughter in, you know, in case of an emergency. And I know that, you know, uh, so a long what, shot, what, but that's what, 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 would you, what would you have done before 1995? Well, you know, I graduated in 91, and so we did just fine, but I didn't hear of uh, children shooting up their classmates before then either, so... You know, it's just the times have changed, and I, I, I don't think they should be disturbing the teacher while they're uh, learning in class. But in case of emergency, I do feel better with uh, having a direct line to my daughter. Where are you? Um, well, I, I have an idea. Yeah. Let me compromise, okay? okay. Um, I disagree. I don't think they need a, a phone in the classroom, and I would make sure that would be the rule. However... Since you sound like such a nice person, I'm going to compromise. Okay. See, you want to get a hold of your child in case of an emergency. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a table on the back of the class. Mm -hmm. And your child can put her... Now, remember, this phone's going to be turned off, right? Yeah. So we both agree, but how are you going to contact her if the phone's off? Well, if there's an emergency, phone goes on. That's a, people, these kids and everybody have their phone in their hand like it's, a, you know. No, 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 no. See, right now, the phone can be in your pocket or book bag, but it has to be turned off. So how would you contact your child in emergency if the phone's off? Well, it automatically goes on if there's an emergency at the school. You say, you say, I'm not aware of that. How, well, how, how, that automatically goes on, but what I mean is if there's an emergency that she knows about and she needs to get in contact uh, outside Who's contact, the she? Well, she you're, ta you're, talking about the you're talking about the daughter? I'm talking about my, my 17-year-old daughter, who's a senior now, a pretty good student, you know, doesn't cause any trouble, doesn't okay. in class. You're saying if there was an emergency in the class, she in could turn it on. In the class, yeah, that's the first okay. thing they'll do is... All right, so wait wait a second. Home. So what I'm going to do, hmm? I'm going to let her bring the phone to the class and put it on the table in the back of the classroom. Oh. What is that? <laughs> is that? Why doesn't that work? No, because if there's an emergency, there's 35 phones on the back table. And you have to find yours and everybody has the latest because one. Because you're, you're going to put tape on it. You're going to put tape on your name? Yeah. A mask and tape, all the mask and tape is the same color too, Howie. I'm. My well, dear, aren't aren't you being? I mean, I, I'm being reasonable. No. Don't you think yes. you're being just a teensy weensy bit unreasonable? I'm being reasonable, but after hearing those nine one one calls. What nine one one calls? They're from Columbine. I'm well, going well, well, to Col Col what? That scared me to death, Howie. Yeah, but that was only once. Yeah, but Virginia Tech, you got high school shootings, you got all kind of shootings all the time now. Okay, you wait a second. To fight and go you can. To fight another you, day. They your, shoot. your daughter can have her cell phone yeah. in the class turned off on the back table, mm -hmm. and they're going to be in alphabetical order. And you could put a little piece of tape on there. Why, well, you think everybody in the classroom has a phone cell phone? Of course they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but there's going to so be in a class? an emergency in that class. There's chaos. There's no one looking. I'm in the A's. I'm in the Z's. There's chaos. The whole table is knocked over in the classroom. What I'm uh, saying, I don't buy it. I don't kids, buy it. We're uh, talking about kids. They're not going to be looking. They, they can't even um, write in cursive, okay? They're not going to be looking for their name in alphabetical order. They can't even look in a dictionary in alphabetical order. I see. So you're telling me that children are so inept, <laughs> they, they couldn't possibly find their phone, but once they found it, they can have access to any satellite 
in North America. <laughs> they could. You know, I think kids are, are smart these days. So what That's you're saying, got a lot coming if, at them. if I was the principal mm -hmm. and I compromised and said, you can have your cell phone in the class turned off on the back table, mm -hmm. you would tell me that's not a... Well, how about this? How about it could be in your backpack, but your backpack is against the wall? Your backpack is in your locker, and it's not a, it's not a kindergarten class, how? We, that may be preschool or kindergarten, and maybe they have cell phones. Well, wait a second. What, is, what do you mean by back... Well, who's carrying the... How do I carry my books to class if I don't have my backpack with me? Okay, so I'm just saying I have a 17-year-old and it's pretty much uncool. She carries a backpack. She doesn't Once need her phone on her. She her books um, in her hand because it just looks cooler. I don't know. It's just the way yeah. they are now. I, oh, I, no, I... I, I it wasn't me, but they... I, I, I believe... Are. But see, I believe the parents have created this problem. You don't need to contact your child immediately. Call the office or call the child and leave a message, and she could get it at lunch. Well, you know what, but there is sometimes. I don't think the kids should be disturbing the class. They should have their um, phone confiscated. Parents should be called. And you know doggone well they're exchanging answers from class to class, or they're contacting each other and giving answers to later periods in the schoolroom. Well, but, but I think, I feel like this. If that's who they are, that's who they're going to be anyway. My my daughter... But not in our schools. You have to learn to curb your behavior to the rules of the school. This is why a lot of people can't play basketball, because they they got to go by the rules, see? But they, look, there are rules everywhere, but you have to change with the time. And like I said, I don't really believe that i mean every time i turn around my daughter is texting but but the fact is she's not texting in school but she will check her cell phone during lunch or something like that i don't know i think i think phone. it's i think it's perfectly fine that she checks it during lunch i i have no problem checking your phone during lunch i just don't think that she should have it on her physical person because I know that phone's not turned off. I know that they're going to cheat with that. Some of them will, but you know, you have, it. Go, I think it just goes back to the parenting. You do have some children who understand the benefit of actually learning something, doing long division and understanding how to work out problems. And you have some that's just never going to do that anyway. And they can get so far with cheating. But then eventually, it's not going to work out for them. So what are you going to do? You're going to be the policeman for every single child in the classroom because they own a cell phone. Everyone's going to own a cell phone in five years. We all own cell phones already, mm -hmm. whether we like it or not. That's a, it's a what, compromise. What, 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 I agree with All it. right, wait a second. What if I were to tell you that at private schools, they have my rule, but they can't do it at public schools because the parents at public schools won't go along with the rules? There is a problem with the public school parents. <laughs> but so if you went to Walsh or to Hoban, very nice schools, and I'm sure your school's nice too, mm -hmm. but I'll bet you, I'll bet you a sauerkraut ball from the Waterloo. <laughs> I love them. Okay. I'll, and I'll get you the cocktail sauce. <laughs> I'll bet you at the private school, you can't have your phone in your pocket. You probably could have it in your lot. No, I could be wrong. So I'll, I'll find out. All right. Well, you've been a delight. Well, thank you, Howie. And you have a good uh, rest of the week, and we'll see you for the rest of the year. No long vacations. No home. more long vacations. Okay. <laughs> Unless I take you with me, all right? Yes, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Let's... Um,